Hey, hey, hi, hello, welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of cool games to your backlog, your wish list, your now playing list, whatever you're doing out there. We're going to add to it. That's the goal every time. And if you like rogues, you're in the right place. I would argue that there's no better place on the internet to be than the Goat Force Gaming channel. So I'm, I'm glad you're here with us. I am back with what I feel is a real banger of a roguelite. This is a game called Repetendium. And we played a little bit of this the other day. This is an action roguelite with some mining as part of it. Some, some digging into the stage for those hot, hot level up crystals that we're always looking for. So we're going to have a fun run in this. And I've got to give a big thank you to the dev, Barelex Games. The dev reached out. We're going to go increase damage. Reached out the other day and said, hey, Goat, you know, a friend of mine introduced me to your channel. They said you like the rogues. Would you like to try a copy of the game? I said, I'd absolutely love to. And so here we are. What was really, really cool of this dev as well is that in addition to giving me a code to play the game, they also gave a couple codes for giveaways. So congrats to Groggy Gamer, one of our community members, who won a copy of the game the other day. And here's some good news. I've got another copy to give away. So we're going to talk a little bit about that and what you can do to make yourself eligible for a chance at winning a copy. Uh, let's go increase your HP regen. Today we're going to talk a little bit about demoing games in various ways. Way back when. Think... Funko Land. Think Toys R Us. Think kiosk stations. Should be a fun discussion. We're going to get into a little bit of coffee talk. I've got, I've got a new coffee today. It's very, very good. I'm, I'm liking it so far. And there's going to be there's going to be plenty of good coffees coming. I'll explain. But before we get into all that, we got to talk about the business of the business of the business. If you're new here, thanks so much for being here. If you're not new here, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate your support. But if you are new, we would all love to earn the right to your subscription. We'd love to see you more often. Just know that a couple things are going to happen. Now, it, they're, they're going to equate out, so you, you don't have to worry too much. But there's, there's a quick disclaimer here. Okay? Because you need to know. We are going to weigh you down. You're going to see cool games. You're going to add them to your wish list. You're going to say, oh my god. How, how am I carrying this weight still? Right? You're going to be weighed down. But here's where we're going to help you. We're going to take money out of that wallet. You're going to want to buy these games eventually. Right? And that's going to lighten the load overall. So it's going to be a win for you overall. Uh, it's an easy decision. Hit that sub button. You won't be upset. And if you are, uh, you know, talk to, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll include the link to the complaint box uh, in, in the description. Right? We'll, we'll pop it in there for you. Uh, increase the invincibility period after taking damage. You can no longer dash. Eh, I like the dash. When your shield is reduced to zero, it explodes. That sounds great. Let's do that. At the same time, though, I don't want my shield to reduce to zero. So here's what I'd like to do. 
with this giveaway copy of the game. I'd like you to think about your experience with demoing games back in the day. What was your what was your first experience that you can remember? Increased crystal range pickup, 10% increased range projectile speed. We don't really need the accuracy because this guy's doing a good sh uh, job of shooting automatically. Let's go with this slow. That sounds okay. Your first time demoing a game or, you know, being inside a Toys R Us and, and being at one of those kiosks, tell us about that experience. Tell us if you miss that experience. You know, because things are, let's face it, things are different now, right? And maybe they're better. I don't know. I don't know. I can certainly draw upon some experiences from my past and I don't know why I started thinking about this the other day. It, you know what I think it was? Ghostbusters was on TV. And I, I have I have this love-hate relationship with Ghostbusters. It's it's mostly love for the films. It's it's all love. Okay, but on the video game side, you probably agree with me. Uh, there's, there's a little bit to be asked for there, right? Um, things, things could have been better overall. So, I saw the, uh, Ghostbusters on TV, and it, it brought me back to a trip that we had taken to Toys R Us. Uh, let's figure this out. Increased melee, you know, let's go with this. Speed is speed is good. Uh, okay, now we're getting doubles. So dashing now breaks through walls and crystals. Okay. Increase all experience gained. Instantly reload when you dash. Eh. The cost increase when rerolling perks is halved. Okay, I think we're going to go through this one. That sounds okay to me. So we're at uh, Toys R Us, you know, which is just such a great experience in and of itself. Um... You know, this was when they had the aisle of all the toy rifles and laser guns and everything. And, you know, you had to pick up each one and see how much noise you could make in the aisle. I think everybody remembers that, right? Ton of action figures. G.I. Joes. X-Men characters. Does anybody remember the Cyclops character from X-Men, the, the action figure? where if you held down the back piece, it was like a little plastic lever, you could get his visor to light up. You know I still have that today. And no, the, the light sadly does not work anymore, but, uh, but damn it, I remember when it worked. <laughs> okay, we are running out of time, my goodness. That happened very fast, so we've got to find the exit. 20% uh, chance when killing an enemy to instantly gain two ammo. I love what that music effect does. All right, let's grab. Oh my goodness, we're gonna get run over if we're not careful. All right, we've got to go. We've got to go. We have got. To, you know what? Can we? Can we get over there? You know what? I'm. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit. Uh, killing enemies with a melee attack increases ranged attack damage. 30% increase ranged. Uh, increase the invincibility period after taking damage. Ooh, melee and digging size. That is going to help us right now. So we're going to we're gonna maybe do that. The exit is top right there via the blue icon. So we've, we've got a guide at least to where the hell we're going. But we do not want to get flattened by the disc of death. There's our exit. You know, I probably should have grabbed some of those crystals, but that's okay. So anyway... Every once in a while, we would take a trip out there. You know, we had the uh, NES, and we were there with uh, my dad. It was my brother and I. And we're going up and down the aisle looking at the little plastic flaps uh, that you'd grab, you know, and bring up to the register, tell them what game you want, and then they'd go in the back and grab the game for you. And we all liked Ghostbusters at the time. 
right? So my uh, my dad picked up the Ghostbusters flap, and he's looking at it and reading it. And he's like, hey, you know, see, killing enemies with a ranged attack increases melee attack damage. 100% increased range, but your uh, random direction. That wouldn't be great for the weapon we have. I think we're going to do this. Okay. I, I tend to use the melee attack pretty frequently, so I, I think that upgrade makes sense for us. So he says, hey, you know, this this looks pretty good, you know? And, uh, of course, my brother and I are younger, and, and we're like, well, God, you know, any, any opportunity to get an NES game would be just wonderful, right? Well... We brought that sucker home, and, uh, you know, if you haven't played Ghostbusters on the NES, let's do a 20% chance to cause, oh, you know what, fire rate increase would be better for our weapon. Let's do that. If you haven't had a chance to see that gameplay footage, um, you know what, go out and take a look at the video that the angry video game nerd did. I, I think that's going to give you a good feel for NES Ghostbusters. Um, should we even talk about the Zool section where you have to climb like 97 sets of stairs with the B and A button? And this was before we had like the rapid uh, turbo controller. 20% chance with killing an enemy to... Oh, that would be good. That would be good. Let's do that. Okay. Well, we found the exit. But I don't think we're ready to exit just yet. So that's one of my earliest memories. But, you know, I started thinking about this experience that some of us had. Oh, they got us. You know, playing at these kiosk areas, right? Let's fire up another round I've become really attached to this B auto character and I think it's because of all of the roguelite survival games that we play you know the bullet heavens let's let's have a round with the bubbler I, I like this weapon and we'll use turrets this time okay I don't know if we can afford oh we can how about that let's see increase melee speed that would be good because then that affects digging speed as well. Let's do that. Okay. So, my other early memory of doing that, I think I was going to Toys R Us to pick up some Spawn comics. Because my buddy had just gotten me into Spawn. And they had... They had like a collector's pack that had, I think, the first three issues in there. Um, let's do... Let's do this. That, that random direction thing might have actually been good. If that pops up again, I might go with that for this weapon. Uh, let's do... Ooh, the shrapnel would be good, too, because we produce a lot of bullets with the bubble gun. Let's go with that. It's just really neat being able to tech out all these different builds in these games. All right. So I went there to pick up this three-pack of Spawn comics, and, you know, while I was there, I think this was the same time or around the same period, Eternal Champions was very popular. Anybody remember Eternal Champions? It was a fighting game. It was pretty cool. I remember playing that on the kiosk and uh, having a pretty good time with it. 20% chance for ranged attacks to fire one additional times. That could be good. Let's do that. We're going to have a lot of bubbles on the screen happening. So again, for the contest... Make sure you're subscribed and let us know a time when you can remember, you know, demoing a game 
uh, maybe at a kiosk or at a blockbuster, something like that. And, uh, you know, if you do uh, one of those times, let's see, what do we want to do here? Your attacks deal 100% increased damage you receive. Oh, no, no, no. No sacrifice. Let's do this. Yeah, if you, uh, you know, grew up in a time after that was a thing, uh, you know, tell us something similar. Multi-shot. 20% chance for ranged attacks to fire two additional times. That sounds good. Uh, maybe a time that a friend showed you a game and you demoed it that way. We all have good memories of seeing games for the first time. Comment, subscribe, and I will be picking a winner on... Let me do the math here. Today is the second, so the third would be Saturday. The fourth would be Sunday, fifth and sixth. We'll pick a winner on December 6th. 20% increased range damage. Let's do that. Eh, partial to this, too. All right. Decision made. Speaking of demos, I have another really fond memory that, that comes to mind. Who remembers Funko Land? God, I had good times in that store. You know, you could go to Funko Land and tell them, hey, you know what? I, I think I might want to buy this game, but I don't know for sure until I play it. And these guys would be like, hey, you know what? No problem. We'll just fire it up for you real quick. You know, try it out and let us know what you think after trying it. You know, and they'd put it on the little kiosk and, oh, you'd have to crane your neck straight up. Right? Unless you were like eight feet tall and, and eye level with the TV. Probably wasn't the case. 10% chance for attacks to cause enemies to bleed. Or we could do shields and kind of build that up. Let's go with shields. That's what got us into trouble uh, this last run. All right. So at Funko Land, I remember demoing. We'll go with piercing. Shining Force. Which is just a wonderful strategy RPG from that period of time. Shining Force. They put it on, and I'll be honest, I I knew immediately that I, I needed to own that game. Uh, but I'm not going to lie, I sat there and played it a little bit longer, because why not, you know? And we didn't have cloud saves, by the way. Enemies now explode on death and deal 10% of their hit points as damage to nearby enemies. That sounds great. Let's do that. It'll be good for when the enemies are all pooled up together. We hit a good crystal zone. 20% uh, increased ranged fire rate. Yeah. Get some good, good upgrades here. Yeah, so played, played Shining Force. The other Funko Land story that I remember really well I was trying to get a copy of Splatterhouse 3. I had rented the game and, you know, didn't finish it all the way. And I thought, man, I really want to, you know, have a copy of this game. It's, it's incredible. It had such good atmosphere. And honestly, the game, I, I was younger, the game scared the hell out of me. Your attacks deal 100%. Oh, no, no, no. We're not doing that one. Killing enemies with a ranged attack increases melee attack damage. 20% melee and digging size. I like that. Um, you know, I like this one, too. We'll go with that one. And then we have to think... Oh, we've got a boss chasing us here. All right. You know what? We'll fight the boss. Why not?
But what was funny about that one is that the Funko Land that was close to my house did not have a copy of the game. And so instead, I had to drive like an hour and 10 minutes to get to the Funko Land that did have it, you know, like four or five towns away. But you know, at the time it was like, hey, who cares? I'm getting this awesome game. Let's go, let's go. Two and a half percent increased range magazine size, 25% wow. Um, let's do that. Okay, what do we got here? This is a double. Your ranged attack damage increases 10% when hitting an enemy. Decreases when missing. Huh. Oh, this is a really good one. Okay, we're doing this. Uh, mainly because of this. That expert miner. That is a hot upgrade. Yeah, you know, man, and now now we're on the subject of Splatterhouse 3. Holy, just. Look, there's a part in that game. And, and this was before FMV and all that stuff. These were still images, right? But as you played the game, these events would happen. And they were, they were time-based events. So the faster you could get through the game in most cases... You know, the better you would do with the story events. But the woman that you were trying to save, Jennifer, there's a section where if you don't move fast enough, she gets this worm put in her, uh, a boar worm. And let me just tell you, I mean, there is a still image where the game is communicating to you, oh, no, we're running out of time. Oh, that's not good. Um, all right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go digging speed, and I guess we're gonna have to get the hell out of here. Maybe not, though. Maybe not, though. Let's let's see if this pans out. Might pan out. Okay, we're we're at least gonna capitalize on some of this. Oh no. All right. Uh, boy, another increase. Or, oh boy. All right, we're doing this, and then we're now we're getting the hell out of here. Hopefully, oh, it's right here. Oh, I had no idea it was right next to us. Well, that worked out really well. So her image appears on the screen, and she's got these worms like in her temple area, and you know. It scared the bejesus out of me. Okay? Um, but I loved it. But, you know, being scared for me, it's it's fun. I, I like being scared. So it was a great experience. And, and then we got that, you know, not-so-great game on the 360, the Splatterhouse game. I mean, I played it. I bought it because I, I just I love that IP. Uh, 8% chance for attacks to slow enemies for 5 seconds. I mean, that sounds okay. Let's do that. We've already got a lot of the HP upgrades happening. So I'm not too worried about that. Okay. We're moving along here. And you see all those bl extra blues popping out? That's that expert miner. That's one of my favorite upgrades to grab 20% chance when killing an enemy to instantly gain two ammo um you know we've never even used the turrets i don't think come on goat uh i i think we'll just do that just avoid reload altogether okay spectral obelisk has landed i'd, I'd like to go and get that spectral Obelisk if we can. Look at all these crystals over here. Ten percent increased range, projectile speed, accuracy. Oh, here we go. More shrapnel. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Health is getting low. We need to get out of there. 
Uh, 20% increased range, damage. Yeah, that seems like a good way to go. Let's just burrow ourselves down here. Try and get some health back. I think on the next meta progression upgrade, should probably go with... Uh, some shield. Upgrade your companion and also attack the nearest enemy. That sounds pretty good. Okay. Shield or health regenerate. I think that's an option as well. Okay. Well, we're getting close to the obelisk. It's right there. And let's pop down the turret as soon as we can. It's almost charged up. Oh, boy. We've got an elite by us now. 20% chance when killing an enemy to instantly... Right, right, right. Um, boy, oh boy. I don't love any of these. Um, I, you know, I guess we'll just go with this one. It's like, well, if I've got to pick one. I need to pop this turret down here. Well, maybe not. Now that all these guys are gone. 30% increased melee damage, 100% increased digging power. Um, yeah, let's do that. Now, if we can pop this up. Oh, no. Right as we were destroying it. But we did earn uh, some nice underworld essence for some more meta progression. So, so that's good. Uh, let's, let's do one more run, shall we? All right, we're going to go be auto again. I know, I know. Poyo looks really cute, uh, but I've, I've just gotten really used to the auto fire. I have not tried him with the boomer yet, but I have tried him with the Betty, and I think I think it's pretty good. So let's, let's do that. Yeah, this is the one with the grenades. All right. And I'm thinking that we should probably go heal this time. I actually like this. And I don't think we can afford any upgrades. Yeah, we were close. All right. We'll do one more run. Repetendium. I think it's a huge win. See, look at those grenades. Isn't that nice? Okay, killing enemies with a ranged attack increases melee attack damage. Your ranged attacks have, wow, 5% chance to fire a homing rocket. That seems like we must. Doesn't it? Because, again, I don't have to manage any of the... Uh, Grenade attacks, they just happen. 2.5% increased ranged magazine size. Yep. Because we've got a slow reload on this weapon. That's one of the challenges with it. I think it can hit us as well. So we've got to always be moving. 20% increased ranged fire rate. That would be good. Some of you out there are probably thinking, my God, Goat, you're a glutton for punishment using this weapon with a guy that fires automatically in a direction of their choosing. 25% uh, chance for range attacks to create shrapnel. I think we'll go fire rate again. Uh, that's, that's already paying dividends, that fire rate. That's looking really good. Okay. Get that shield back if we can. See, now I'm thinking that I, I need to play some Splatterhouse. Ooh, 10% chance to knock crystals out of enemies. 
Slot Machine. It's a great name. Okay. Looks like there's a power-up sitting. Oh, maybe not. Alright, so there's our exit, looks like. Ten percent increased range, projectile speed, uh, increased range. That yeah, let's go with that. Some accuracy, kill them, not me. Uh, Ten percent increased melee and digging, create a shrapnel. Let's go max hit points. So I mentioned some exciting developments on the coffee side. My wife is just fantastic. I like I've said last time. I, I don't I don't know what I've done to uh, deserve some of this stuff. But last year, my wife had gotten me a coffee advent calendar. And it had a bag of coffee for every day. And so she's done something similar again. Now, it's, it's not a bag for every day, but it's a bag that has a pot's worth of coffee in it. And some of these flavors, I haven't looked at all of them. But some of these flavors are awesome. So she's gotten me a pack from Door County Coffee and Tea Co. And it's their Door County Christmas flavors. Oh, that run didn't go too well, did it? Killed by yourself. Okay, so that confirms we were taking damage from the Bettys. Uh, we can't have that. We can't go out like that. We've got to do one more run. Okay. So, Poyo is Poyo. B-Auto is subversive. Prisma is immobile and tough. Can't move, but reloads fast and has extra shields. You know what? Let's, let's try Prisma for the first time, shall we? Uh, we'll go with... Hmm. Can't move. I'm just thinking about this. Let's go with this. Do no mod. I'm going to say turret. I have no idea how this is going to work if we can't move. Uh, where's our regen at? Increase your damage reduction. There it is. Oh, it's 2,500. Okay, we're going to save for it. That just means we're going to have a great run with Prisma. So this is a pack from Door County Coffee and Tico, and today I'm drinking... Oh, right, I, I can't move. This is very weird. How is this going to work if I can't move? Oh, so you just get knocked around? All right, I... I am a little bit puzzled by this right now, if I'm being totally honest, like, is the goal to get knocked around? When, you when your shield is reduced to zero, it explodes, right. Uh, you know, I think this is gonna be good. Yeah, how are we gonna move? I am, I'm, I'm puzzled, but you know what? We're going to see how this plays out. Like, let's see if this guy can, okay. So they, they hit you a little bit. Four percent chance for attacks to slow enemies for five seconds. Okay. Right, right, right. I guess we'll go with bleed. Oh, Okay. All right. All right. I get it. 
I get it. Okay. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. He can he can turn into a ball as part of his dash. Okay, I like it. I like it. All right. Well, that's I'm glad we figured that out because I was thinking, what the hell am I missing? That's hilarious. All right, so to go back to the coffee, now that we've figured that out. Uh, oh, let's do this. That would be good for this gun. Um, I am drinking a cup that's called Christmas in a Cup. It is a classic holiday blend of cinnamon and spice. And let me tell you, it absolutely is. It's, it's quite good. Boy, I got to get used to getting around like this. This is... It's weird. It's weird, and I don't know if I like it, but... I, I think my brain just has to get used to it. But it is cool that he kind of goes into a hedgehog form. Uh, maximum shield. That sounds pretty good. Then he's got this suction ray that can like even reach there. So that's that's neat too. He's he's definitely got some advantages. Yes, I have decided that this crystal is the male form. All right. And you've got free movement as well. Oh, this will this will be helpful. Let's do that. Because I don't know that I'm doing a great job of collecting the crystals. Uh, increase your base maximum shield. Yeah, let's do that again. I think the shields are super, super important. Okay. Uh, twenty percent increased ranged fire rate. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Yeah, this is super interesting. I I applaud the dev for trying something unique here. What do you folks think? Is is this is this the uh, is this the way to go? All right, we're gonna we're gonna roll literally uh, up to that icon. Uh, increase your HP regen by two HP per second. Yes, that sounds good. Okay. Urgent assistant. Well, I don't know if we're going to make it out there. We will do what we can. Come on. Let's take these guys down. You know, if we found the perk where the roll breaks the walls... I, I think that this would be amazing. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Three more digging power. I'm, I'm thinking this. Okay, triple damage. Now we're talking. Uh, you can no longer dash, but take 20. No, that's not going to work for this guy. Killing an enemy with a ranged weapon increases your movement speed. That's also not going to work for this guy. So I guess we're going power-up orbs. But hey, we got, we got this thing opened up. That's good. 
instantly re reload when you dash. Uh, your melee attacks will now deflect when reloading. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. Yeah, let's... Well, you know, this could be good, too, because of the way that beam works. Let's try this, actually. Okay. And if we see that extra dash pop, we need it, because it, it does take a good long while for that to recharge. Uh, I'll say that. Okay, the deflection works. That's pretty cool. I think that's the first time I've taken that perk. That was worth it. What I need is the auto shooting as well on this guy. I missed that. 10% increased melee and digging size. I mean... So technically, if I'm understanding right, that would make our uh, little circle bigger. Let's do that. Because that's that's got some other functionalities to it. All right, crystal vacuum, nice. I, I think this boss is going to be... Difficult. Increase all experience gained. 30% increased melee damage. Yeah, let's go that route with it. Oh, we can block the big lasers too? Wow. I'm a fan of that. Oh, that's neat. That is really neat. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm into this guy, I think. Let's do base increase to shield. Killing an enemy has a 2.5% chance to drop a health potion. Absorb any damage taken and apply it to your next melee attack. I mean, that might be kind of nice. Oh, this would be good. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, do we have time here? Probably not, but you know me. I gotta, I gotta risk it a little bit, right? All right. Now I think we're gonna run out of time while we're doing this. Uh, ten percent increased melee and digging speed. Yes. You know, it's still doing 12 damage, though. I, I wonder if these are affecting it. I'm, I'm not sure if they are. I mean, the enemy power is also going up, so that, that could be part of it. Pop the turret out there. Why not, right? This is, like, what it's made for. Oh. Here it comes. I knew it was going to happen right right before. You know, I, I don't know that we're going to get this off this time. Uh, yeah, because it's going to take us a while to escape. Oh, no. Drilling successful. Well, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> All right. You know what? We risked it, and that didn't exactly pay off this time, but uh, but that's okay. We had a good time. We tried the diamond guy out. He's cool. Um, hey, this is a game called Repetendium, and it's a ton of fun. I think it's still going for... $3.99 US. If I'm wrong and it's a little bit higher because that was an introductory price, my guess is it is still priced at 
a very, very decent price point for what you're getting here. I recommend it. I'll include the link in the video description so that you can take advantage of that much easier. And if it's not a good time for you, throw it in the wish list. That really helps these ind independent devs out uh, having wish list activity. If you have played the game, put a review in there too. I think I saw out there that this is very positive right now on Steam. Um, if you enjoy it like I do, maybe we can help get the dev to an overwhelmingly positive review. Uh, that would certainly help give this game some attention as well. So other than that, uh, we have the contest. And like I said, I'll choose a winner. I think we said December 6th. And uh, just comment. Comment and make sure you're subscribed. And all the folks that do that will be in the giveaway possibilities. So thanks so much for all the support. Hope you enjoyed the video today and the discussion. And we'll see you next time out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where, you know what we'll do? We'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because that's what we do every single time. So we'll just do that again. All right. We'll see you again soon. Take care out there.